before the video starts, I just want to show you how crazy my setup is, all right? So here's the chair, right? We got this floating microphone attached to a fishing line, and our tripod is a closet. The other day, I filmed my first wedding video, and I'd like to share some of the things I learned, some tips, some things not to do, which I definitely did a bunch of mistakes. Yeah, it was my first time. So, let's get into it. Alright, with these few clips, you can tell I was filming in just a very low-key and very simple format. I'm 16. This was my first wedding video, so don't make fun of me. Definitely nowhere close to professional yet. But to make you professional, I'll share some things you shouldn't do or should do. Just so you just so you do a better job next time. Just so you do a better job filming your wedding video. It doesn't even have to be a wedding video. It can be a music video. It can be a short film. It can be a big film. Anything. Anything you film. These would work. Maybe some ideas. Maybe I'll bless you with some facts. All right, so my cousin is the bride of this wedding and her and him, her and him, him and her, they asked me to film the wedding. All they wanted was like a highlight of the day. And at first I said, yes, this is a crazy opportunity, you know? Filming a wedding video, that's, that's new. I've never done that before. And you just gonna, I guess almost test. I guess this is, I was like, wow, yeah, I'm gonna test myself here. I'm gonna do a crazy job. I'm gonna show them what I'm capable of. But as the days got closer to the wedding, I got scared, I got stressed, and I decided to call my buddy. Like, yo, so like, this wedding's coming up. It was like two weeks probably before the wedding. I'm like, can you, can you come help? So that was the first thing. First thing is always better to film with someone. First of all, it's gonna feel better. You're not gonna be as worried. You'll have someone to blame. If the shots all go bad, you'll be like, oh, it's my other filmer. He did a terrible job. I'm kidding. Or even if you can't get nobody, you have no friends, you ask some random strangers, they said no, they don't wanna help you film. Have a tripod, a tripod would be a big help. But this is if you have two cameras, of course. You could put the tripod like at the end of the aisle. So you should always focus on everyone that's walking through or just any other shot you really want. Or if the client wants any shots, put a tripod there, have that camera rolling, and you can switch it when like you got you know you have a perfect shot. That would work too. Make sure you do this like decent amount of days before the wedding. You gotta write a script. It's gonna help you a lot. Even just writing your shots down from what you want, from what you wanna get in the shot, what you wanna film, to maybe, again, the bride or the groom have special shots in mind that they saw on someone else's wedding film. And they show you an example. You can ask them and write it down. So then you always have something you're filming, you're never running out of ideas and you just no, you're gonna have that one shot you can fill in if this one doesn't work. It took me like probably a week to write a script. And then for practice I even wrote I wrote even more stuff down. When when we got together we saw the place we were gonna film, which is also another thing I did. As I got to the place before the actual wedding day, I checked it out, got even more ideas from where maybe like we'll film from this side, then we'll come in from here, we'll do that shot, we'll jump off that place. We're more prepared by seeing the place and going there prior to the wedding. Taking a quick scope definitely gives you more ideas, way more ideas. And you take a deep breath and then it just goes better because like, oh, yeah, I was there yesterday. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing, but film you guys, you know? Something like that. I was mainly focused on even if it wasn't some crazy shots, because I'm obviously not a professional yet, I have a gimbal. I was using a gimbal. Halfway, halfway, I'm like, screw this. I can just go film freestyle. Just hold my camera. And it worked excellent. So either know how to use your gimbal 
or know how you handle the camera in your hands so it won't be shaky at you. Because the way you film your shots with the gimbal, it can also turn out pretty trash. So make sure you know how to do that. I was focused on having three types of shots. Some close-up shots, some medium shots that a bit farther away than close-ups, and some wide shots where you can see everything that's going on, you know? Because if you have those three already, your video should look way more professional, even if it's on a tripod, but they're just like shorter clips, you won't even, you won't even tell it's on a tripod. Your hands are just so still, you know? It's just gonna look so fabulous. But my mistake was I made the clips way too short, like some four second clips, some, some even less, because it was like the only perfect shot I could get it was only like two seconds. So when I started editing afterwards, I noticed that and there's nothing you can do about it because then even if you want to change something, all you have is these like three second clips, three, four second clips, which sucks because you want to do something about it, but you can't, you can't even cut. It's always better to cut and delete footage better than redoing the whole editing, you know, because you filmed the wrong shot or you did it too short. Like, oh, you call into the room, oh. I messed up your wedding, can we go redo it? Can we go film it again, but like without the people? No one's gonna do that. So, I need, to stop, I need to stop clapping. I'm always clapping. Towards the end of the day of the wedding, I felt much better than I felt like the week prior when I was super nervous about having to do this. Super nervous, I'm gonna do something wrong. Super nervous, I won't get some, some good shots that won't make the video good. Make it your own movie, make it something you're proud of, even if it's your, I don't know, just a couple of clips, not much is going on, you should be so proud of because it's your own style, it's your own art, and I'm sure the bride and groom will love it because it is their special day, and if the shot's a bit shaky, maybe even if you get someone's bald head in the clip, I'm sure they'll love it.